members of the Duke Law School class of 2020, family members, friends, faculty, and staff, good morning and welcome to the class of 2020 recognition ceremony. I'm Carrie Abrams. I'm Carrie Abrams, Dean of the Law School, and I am delighted that you have all joined us today. It is no exaggeration to say that we have been waiting for this day for the last 18 months. We all remember the uncertainty and fear that gripped the world during the spring of 2020. The rapid spread of the COVID-19 pandemic forced almost everyone into lockdown and moved much of our life and work online including the work of this university. For our third year JD students and for our LLM students, this was an especially upsetting disruption as it was your final semester at the law school and we wouldn't get another chance to see you in person before you completed your education and received your degree. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, let me be the first to welcome you back to Duke as alumni of this great institution. It is particularly special to see so many of your loved ones with you. Over the last year and a half, the need to keep each other safe has isolated many of us from our family and friends and disrupted important rites of passage, like graduations. I know that watching your child, grandchild, partner, or parent cross the stage today will be as much of a thrill for you as it is for them, perhaps even more so. Many friends and family members who cannot be here in person today are celebrating with our graduates via live stream. Friends and family, thank you for being here, whether in person or remotely, and for all you have done to support the members of the class of 2020. We are here today to recognize a unique class of law students the more than 300 members of the class of 2020 are unique, not just because they were the first to graduate, having taken classes on Zoom and final exams from home. They were also the first class to hold their graduation celebration online, with family and friends watching live from around the world. As is our tradition, two graduating students, Kareem Mziani and Donovan Stone, were selected by their classmates to give remarks and they were joined on the virtual stage by a distinguished Duke Law faculty member, Professor Walter Dellinger. Let's take a few minutes to remember that very special event. I don't know about the rest of you, but when I entered law school, I felt a bit overwhelmed. In fact, it would be fair to say that I truly had no idea what was going on, who we would be going out the same way. None of us could have imagined that our law school careers would end like this. We all face tremendous uncertainty as the world continues to adapt to our new reality and as we continue to build a new normal. That's become somewhat of a buzzword over the last few weeks. Everyone speculating over what the new normal might look or feel like. If you think about it though, we now have an amazing opportunity to help construct that new normal. And it is my wish for all of us that we commit to shaping a new normal that is happier, friendlier, and healthier than the old normal. Our destiny united us at Duke. We all came here to live the American dream and we ended up with cold calls, research papers, all the readings, COVID-19, Zoom, Zoom, and Zoom. Since day one, my classmates have proved me that love has no border and no nationality. That is why they became my family, mi familia, my Alan brothers and sisters. Embrace your destiny. 
shine bright like a diamond, like Rihanna, and make sure that people can see how talented you are. Today, we need people like my mother, my mama, Salima Tamziani, helping in the fight against the pandemic in hospitals. Tomorrow, we'll need you to rebuild the world shaken by COVID-19. In almost every important respect, you can choose to be the lawyer and the person you want to be. The great qualities of being a lawyer are by and large qualities that you can conscientiously adopt. In short, a commitment to being an ethical lawyer and a good person is within your capacity. And in my half century of watching our graduates, I can tell you, but I look at the correlation between how people did on one measure, that is academic grades, and how fulfilled they were as professionals and how rewarded they were as persons, is that there was no correlation. There is no correlation. That you can choose for yourself. Watching that video back, it may be hard for you to believe that your graduation from Duke Law School was just last year. Think about how much has happened in your lives since then. Most of you studied for and took the bar. That's an arduous experience under the best circumstances, but for you, it was also terribly chaotic with all sorts of logistical and technological challenges. Some of you moved to new cities to start new jobs, while others returned home and worked remotely, but everyone faced the challenge of navigating totally new ways of working and communicating. Think also about how much has happened in the world at large. A bitterly divisive presidential election that culminated in a violent attack on the US Capitol. The murder of George Floyd, which prompted an historic reckoning with systemic racism and police brutality the exacerbation of horrendous disparities in access to health care, housing, and employment in the wake of a pandemic that continues to sicken many, many people every day. I realize that for many of you, these challenges may seem far removed from the work you are currently doing as lawyers. The year after I graduated from law school, I was clerking for a district court judge. And I remember how much of my time was spent hunting for the correct number of spaces in citations until I felt kind of nauseated. You might be hard pressed to see how the kind of small board detail oriented work that first year associates, law clerks, and budding government and public interest lawyers often do can actually help the world overcome its cataclysmic problems. But let me offer a different perspective. The profession you chose when you enrolled at Duke Law School is one that is critical to the functioning of our society, our government, and the stability of our economic life. As lawyers, you have taken collective responsibility for upholding the institutions that support our democracy and reforming those institutions when they need reform. That's an enormous privilege and one that I know you all take seriously. All of the problems we have experienced over the last year as a nation are linked in some way to the failure of legal institutions to robustly respond to the needs of people or provide the justice they deserve. But the solution to that overarching problem isn't to abandon law. The solutions to all these problems require law. Lawyers provide orderly processes, such as litigation, to resolve disputes over things like elections, rather than leaving things to a mob Lawyers are working to reform police practices to make racially motivated abuse less likely. And lawyers problem solve to break down barriers to access to justice and social services. The skills you developed here at Duke Law School are now and now use every day in your legal practice are skills that our society desperately needs. Good lawyers listen before they talk. They ask questions. They really try to understand the other person's perspective even if they think they disagree with them, especially if they disagree with them. They look for points of common interest so that they can avoid spending time and money on issues that don't need to be fought over. Lawyers, contrary to public opinion, are usually conflict resolvers. 
not conflict creators. We need lawyers, maybe now more than ever. So let me take this opportunity to congratulate you and thank you for choosing this profession. We need lawyers. We need the class of 2020. And I'm proud to call you graduates of Duke Law School. <laughs>